What's good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of the OSI model where we give you nothing but that application you can apply directly to your life. I'm your host, Dwan Lightfoot, and this video has been sponsored by the good folks over at CompTIA. If you do not know, I am working on my CompTIA Linux Plus certification and I have 30 days left. 30 days, family. 30 days left before I speak to Contia and say, hey, I'm ready for the exam. Let's schedule it. Or, hey, I'm not ready. I need a week. I need two weeks in order to continue prepping. What you're looking at right now is Cert Master Learn for the Linux Plus XK 0 004 exam. In here, we have 15 lessons and a final assessment. My goal is pretty much to go through a lesson every two days. That's about the pace I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna do some practice assessments. As you can see, I went through this practice assessment here. I got 100% correct. Just kind of just going through to see if I even need to study that session. And just kind of going through to see where is my weaknesses at and where are my strengths. That's how I'm going to play this out. So every Wednesday, I'll be doing a keyword phrase, hashtag, combination of both to where you comment in the comment section below. And you'll be entered in a drawing for Sunday's live stream. So every Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be going live on my YouTube channel discussing Linux Plus and answering questions that you may have and then going through some of the practice labs and questions that I have for Linux Plus certification. So today, since I have 30 days left, I decided to create a Linux 30 day challenge. Hashtag Linux 30 day challenge. And I want you to be a part of it. Here's my thinking. I think it's time we hack learning. If I'm learning the same thing, you're learning the same thing, she's learning the same thing, and we're all learning the same thing pretty much together, how about this? For this Linux 30 day challenge, it's not, you don't have to go overboard, you don't have to do anything out of your way. Just learn one thing about Linux. One thing and share it on social media with the hashtag Linux 30 day challenge. Preferably Twitter, because that's what the easiest thing to check for me. But if you want to use Instagram, if you want to use Facebook, if you want to use LinkedIn, wherever you want to share your Linux 30 day challenge, one thing, just learn one thing every day for the next 30 days, post it on social media. So here's my thinking on how we can hack learning. If everyone posts one thing, right, for this Linux challenge, if you click the hashtag on social media, you're going to learn something new from every person, whether it be from their perspective or just something you didn't know. So rather than having to sit and read through a whole bunch of books, I can kind of click your hashtag and it'd be pretty cool if you can also put your reference as well. So that way I can kind of look it up for myself. So if we're all posting what we're learning, we're kind of helping each other learn at the same time. And we're kind of saving time because let's say on that car ride where you're car pulling to work or you're catching a bus or you're just sitting down waiting on your kids while they play sports, you click that hashtag and you can be sitting there learning Linux the shortcut way. Because one of the things about when you share that knowledge, a lot of times you're going to put it in your own words, which is going to be very practical. And I think it'll be pretty cool. So Linux 30 day challenge, hashtag Linux 30 day challenge. It's going down. We're going to learn Linux together. And if you're in, let me know in the comment section below. Linux 30 day challenge, say I'm in. And then use the hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. I'm in. Hashtag Linux 30 day challenge and hashtag CompTIA Linux Plus. If you do that in the comment section below, you will be entered in the drawing, the giveaway on Sunday. I'm excited for this. Now, let's talk about some of my struggles this week. Man, so getting certifications is not an easy task. And I'm not even trying to say that I, I got it figured out because I don't have it figured out. Um, I tell you from my experience, my firsthand experience, but my life has very like some dynamics that I've never dealt with before. And so right now I'm learning, um, not only some new information when it comes to a new certification in the Linux plus 
XK0-004 certification exam, but I'm also balancing my life, you know? And I'm sure many of you are doing the same thing, trying to figure it out, you know, whether you're in IT or trying to get in IT, trying to progress in IT, whatever you're doing, it can really be a challenge in progressing and just growing as an individual, not just on the technical side, but on the personal side or on the relational side with, with your spouse or your kids or whoever. Like it's constantly a challenge of kind of like a controlled chaos. You know what I mean? I did a post on on my, let me pull it up real quick. So I did a post on my, on my YouTube channel and I thought it was interesting. So let me pull this up so you can see it. So we can kind of, let me pull this up so you can see it. So the post was, what's your morning routine? Because I want to know, like, how do people get ready in the morning? You know what I mean? And 19% of you said you do, you go to the gym. 11% said you meditate. And 16% of you said you study. And then there's 34% that is chaos. And then there's a whole bunch of comments. They're pretty funny. You should go check them out. But as I'm going through this and I'm like, man, I'm not the only one that wakes up and just feels like, ah, I have so much to do. And I'm just constantly chasing. My, I was talking to my wife one day and she was like, you know, you have to run the day. Don't let the day run you. And I'm like, are you really like telling me some stuff I would tell you? Like, really? <laughs> but that's what the teamwork made the dream work. But anyway, I'm like, man, facts. And so, like, I take a lot of notes. I write a lot of things down. Um, I have things like this with day planners. I don't even know what's going here. I might be sharing out some personal information. But basically, um, yeah, I use things like this to just write down plans and all that. All types of stuff. I don't even know what's on here. I don't think anything's on here. So, I use things like that to say, okay, here's my calendar. This is what I need to do. And I write it down. And then I also put it in my phone. And... I just kind of balance it the, be the best way that I can, you know. Um, it's a challenge. And during this Lennox journey, I want to be as transparent as possible. Because I understand, you know, what you may be facing. And if I don't understand, share with me. You know, like, like I mentioned before, I do my best to read all comments. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to reply to them all. But at least write them down and say, okay, I need to make a video about this. So I need to make a blog post about this. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But I'm going to get to it. And until then, I'm going to pray for this person. You know, um, I believe prayer is like the most powerful thing that you can do for someone. And yeah, I, I just was raised like that. And that's just who I am. So that's kind of what I put first before I do anything. So yeah, it's a challenge right now. It's a real challenge trying to balance getting this certification. Um, the thing about like my last certification, well, so my last certification was the Azure AZ, what is it, 900 exam. So that's the fundamentals of Azure. And when I took that exam, I went through a boot camp for like one day. It was a one day class or whatever. And then I studied on my own. I kind of labbed it up. It wasn't too in depth. So I didn't really have to go knee deep into the certification to learn, you know, just get a real foundational level understanding, take the certification, pass it, and I got a new cert. That's what it was. But my certification before that, which was the Network Programmability Cert, I really had to get knee deep into that information. Um, even though, you know, I'm, I'm doing automation, I'm, I'm understanding Python, I'm learning Python, I'm implementing automation, I'm doing DevOps, I'm... I'm pushing code to the Git repository. I'm doing all these things that aligns with this certification, but it's still deeper than what I actually do. So I really had to get knee deep into that. And so Linux is kind of like the same thing, but the difference about Linux is like, I don't have to use Linux. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to. I'm forcing myself to because I do support it. And I do have containers that I have to use in order to do certain tasks at work. I do have to support 
you know, software engineers, I do have to support Linux in my environment. So it's like, okay, this is only going to make me better. So rather than having to be forced to do it, let me take the initiative and learn it on my own. And then let me start a 30 day challenge to bring everyone with me. So that's where we're at. This week was all about ah, embracing the journey. That's what it's all about. Taking it one day at a time and realizing, you know what? Even though it's a struggle, even though I wake up to chaos every day, I'm thankful and I'm growing and I'm doing the best that I can to get to where I want to be. And I'm not in this alone. And I know that I'm further than I was yesterday. And even if I have some setbacks, my get backs going to be even better. Let's go. Shout out to Conte. Shout out to you. Live every day. We're in the building. Happy hump day. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.